Good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Come on with us to Proverbs chapter 1. In the Old Testament today, in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7, it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, and fools despise wisdom and instruction. And I wanted to consider that. I, I wanted to consider why do fools despise wisdom and instruction? What, what is that? Why does it, what does it look like? Why does it happen? Well, one reason is it's because fools don't think that wisdom and instruction are important. You know, just think about what it would have been like to hear Jesus speak of the sower going out to, to sow. Uh, if, if you don't understand that it's important, you'll just think that the Lord is talking about farming and he's giving farming tips. But if you understand that it's important, you'll, you'll search and you'll strive to understand and you'll, you'll strive to make the application and to understand that it's a parable. But fools, they don't get it. Fools don't understand that God's will is important. They don't understand that wisdom is important. They think it's unimportant. They don't understand that instruction is important. They see no problem with being foolish. But also, I think other times fools despise wisdom and instruction because they think they know everything already and they are puffed up in their own mind and they despise wisdom and instruction. When a person gets into to be in that situation, when they think they have all the answers, they're not going to listen to anyone else, even the Lord himself. And they are just simply fools. Also though, as the third thing you might consider, sometimes, you know, one of the things that goes along with foolishness is laziness. And sometimes fools despise wisdom and instruction because they don't want to put in the effort. They don't understand that it's work on their part that is needed as well. At verse 5 it says, A wise man will hear and increase learning, and a man of understanding will attain wise counsel. Well, that, that requires work. One, that's one of the things that's, that's required. You have to study yourself. You have to be diligent yourself. And sometimes folks just don't want to put in the effort, and they remain fools. Other times, uh, folks, they, they don't believe that they will answer to someone else. You know, it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Sometimes fools, you know, we think that we are the center of our own universe, and it's just simply, of course, not the case. But fools, they don't, un they don't believe that they're actually going to have to answer to the Lord for their actions. They just, they don't believe it. They have no godly fear about them, and they remain fools. What it really comes down to is some folks, some folks they just do not like being instructed. Because sometimes what, what that means is they don't like being told what to do. All these things, what we understand is wisdom and instruction. To read the first seven verses of Proverbs 1, this is how we grow. Because God does not want us to be simple-minded. He doesn't want us to be fools. He wants us to grow in grace and knowledge. Hope you enjoyed this study today. God bless you. Be a blessing to others. We hope to see you tomorrow morning.